Hello, 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 everyone. Just wanted to quickly apologize for the lateness of this video. There's been so many things going on with the channel and also in real life and also, you know, copyright with uh, this video and some other videos that have been pretty annoying. But next year, the videos are coming out in October. I swear to God, it's gonna happen, okay? The New York Film Festival videos are still coming out. Just need to find the time for them because Black Panther's coming out and we have a video for it. And that's all the excuses for now. This is gonna be a very controversial list video, so I hope you all enjoy. Okay. Okay, bye bye. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to our Halloween special. Hello. You are one beautiful motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's very nice of you. Speaking of which, I'm just going to deviate before I even explain the rules. I don't know if you did this when you were taking notes for these movies to find like one line that stood out to you, because every single movie has <laughs> some line that is just so out of pocket. It's like, why did someone write this? Someone wrote this line. I probably should have did it. That would have been pretty funny. Well, I'll introduce each film with uh, my quote because I wrote them down and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, I don't foresee our lists being that different. At least I hope. I don't either. <laughs> These movies are pretty uh, cut and dry. Yeah. They're very like, you, you know which one's good and which ones are not good. So Okay, well, we'll see. You know, last year you surprised me and you said <laughs> that a nightmare on elm street 2 is the best one that one was different because that one was so fun and i laughed so much well i didn't <laughs> all right so uh tell me what your number five is i think we should say it at the same time to see if we have the same one because i'm pretty sure we will okay <laughs> all right ready yep three three two, two one. one the, the predator, predator. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay cool well, that was easy. This movie is so bad. <laughs> yeah, this movie's ass, man. I will always remember this movie because I went on a Tinder date actually to watch this movie for the first time. God damn. And when I got there, the girl was not who she was in the pictures. So I got catfished super hard when I went <laughs> to see The Predator. And I will never forget that. But this movie kind of felt like embarrassing because Shane Black, knowing he was in the original and like just wanted to bring it back and do whatever, he kind of like ruined it low key. Yeah. <laughs> they tried to play off this like b-movie aesthetic that like the original movie had but it comes off as like super corny and i'm like this is not working at all the effects don't look good the predator doesn't look good or like what is it the super predator the the vfx are genuinely bad just like across the board for each movie or just for this for movie? this one specifically i mean we could talk about okay. the effects in the other movies that'll definitely be a part of the conversation but the v the visual effects in this movie are like uncanny valley gross it's bad um there's a specific shot that i remember towards the end where the super predator is like upside down or something in the tree and blood is like dripping toward the camera it looked like a playstation 2 cutscene. it was fucking gross <laughs> the budget was 88 million dollars it made 24.6 million dollars opening weekend uh Yikes. 51 <laughs> million dollars domestically and 160 million worldwide oh. wow let's try that again <laughs> that, was, that was crazy <laughs> He's got a really big penis. He's got to tell the whole world. Oh, do you remember the scandal uh, that is inextricably linked to this movie? Do you remember? What happened? Remind me. I like It's like vaguely in my head. Dr. Brackett, would you like to meet a predator? <laughs> so what happened was that Shane Black uh, hired his friend who was a convicted sexual offender and he didn't tell anybody and then... People found out and Olivia Munn tried to get the scene cut. She was being lambasted. And then none of her co-stars stood up for her at all. And oh neither did the director. Yeah, you guys can look all this stuff up. It was... That's terrible. Well, first of all, when I did call my co-stars, I got chastised the next day by um, people at the studio for telling them and why am I not just keeping it quiet. It's all going to be okay. It's going to get... It got deleted. What's the big deal? Sterling did um, eventually tweet out support and, and was very forthcoming about Good. how he felt. So that, that's important. So, uh, I'm on your side, and I think people should always speak up when they see something happening. I think being quiet when there's something that needs to be addressed is, is the wrong move. I hope she wasn't blacklisted for that because I haven't seen her in anything recent. So, like... Uh, Could she have been? 
I don't know. She also did a bunch of shit to her face, so I get it. I didn't know that, but... I mean, you just look at her face. It's there. Oh, she was in Love, Wedding, Repeat. I don't know if you remember that movie from the pandemic. The Wedding Groundhog Day movie. I don't know if you saw that movie. It was No, I didn't. I did not see that. It had a lot of promise, and then it was real dumb. Got real dumb real quick. But anyway, let's talk about the Predators. Uh, there's a couple of big issues that I have with this movie. First of all, Jacob Tremblay. I don't know what their motive was here. I guess there's been like an overcorrective trope when it comes to kids uh, on the spectrum in movies where, you know, before they were either like the butt of the joke or there was something like, you know, weird and scary about them because, you know, they behaved, you know, abnormally or whatever. This film felt like one of many films where they can't just be like the rest of us. They have to be like mutants, basically, like X-Men. They have to, they turn <laughs> like them into mutants. that. Oh, this kid is like <laughs> Professor X. Like I have a family member who's on the spectrum and he's like really good with specific things that have to do with tech but he's not knocking over chess pieces uh, and knocking like every single chessboard on the floor and then putting them back exactly where they were verbatim, you know, even though he was barely looking at them. That scene was so stupid. <laughs> I mean, this whole movie overall, the way it deals with mental health was just so weird. Like Thomas Jane having Tourette's and... Oh yeah, I definitely forgot about that. Like Tourette's like can be funny, but the Tourette's jokes that they were doing were basically like Tourette's guy from YouTube from like 15 years ago. <laughs> Eat your pussy. Wait, what? How you doing? Why vaccine? Why, Why do we make more vaccine? Why? Because fuck cock cock. Because we fuck cock cock. <laughs> yeah, that whole like group therapy with all the Marines and stuff or the army guys was weird. Like they just opened up to the main character like too quickly. It felt like they were trying to fit in so much in so little time, even though this movie is longer than the first one. It felt like if someone who only watches Marvel movies made a Predator fan film, because there was like so many Marvel isms. It's trying really hard to be funny. I mean, mm -hmm. Shane Black did Iron Man three and he does make comedies, but there's something that I can't, I guess in my brain, I can't unrelate this to Marvel because it just felt like a Marvel thing. A predator kills its prey to survive. I mean, what you're describing is more like a bass fisherman. The music does like the same thing that I complain about every time I complain about music. You know, there's possibility for a scene to be good. And then the music says, well, what if um, we didn't believe in this scene at all? And we played some generic nothing music to give you the impression that there's tension. Um, one thing that bothers me about this whole franchise, and I don't know if you noticed it when watching, you know, most of these movies is how pro-cop, U.S. military, pro-imperialism most of these movies are. Mm -hmm. It felt like Chris Pratt wrote this movie. <laughs> and then there was like a moment, I don't know if you remember the scene where Olivia Munn was like sleeping inside the, the hotel room and someone asked, they were like, is she gonna be okay with those guys? And then he goes, They're soldiers, man. Sleepy ladies. Nah, man. And I was like, Bro, this is so just wrong and untrue. If you look up the amount of victims of sexual harassment slash sexual assault in the military, it's a huge problem. Mm -hmm. So like, you're just lying. Yeah. It's so weird. Why would you do that? Oh, they were fighting in a school like it was Halloween 4. That was weird. <laughs> Did not enjoy that. There was just, yeah, there was just a bunch of things that didn't make sense. Like Jacob Tremblay, like he didn't want to wear uh, the Halloween costume that his mom got for him because he was afraid people were going to make fun of him. And then he decides to wear the he Predator helmet the predator mask. <laughs> and he looks like a bobblehead. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> he said, oh, this is cool. I won't look stupid at all. And then they show him in a wide shot <laughs> where the helmet's like 10 times bigger than his whole body. And I guess the only like redeeming thing about this movie is the fact that Trevante Rhodes asks about why the Predators have dreads. You know who Whoopi Goldberg is? It's like an alien Whoopi Goldberg. Doc, the dreads. What's that all about? I don't know, maybe like, a, like sensory receptors? That's that's really it. I don't care about anything else in this movie at all. And uh, I guess I guess to end it off for me, the the one line that really got to me was when they were in the house and the main characters telling everyone like, "I'm gonna go find my kid and I'm gonna stop this whatever it is." And um, he calls everyone like pussies and stuff, and then he leaves. And then one of the guys starts to go with him, and they're like, "Really?" And then he goes, "That speech wasn't inspiring, but no one calls me a pussy." And so and then he left. I thought that was funny um but that was it this movie sucks ass oh yeah oh my god i forgot sorry uh this movie's about climate change as well oh yeah <laughs> the the small predator was trying to help us or some shit this movie's stupid it was just boring 
they, I didn't really like have an attachment to any of these characters. They were not fun to watch. I feel like this movie tried its hardest, but it really just fell flat. This was the most forgettable movie in the franchise. Hi, Key. I'm never going to watch it again in my life unless... I don't know. Something has to happen for me to watch this again, like something significant, but I'm not going to seek it out. Yeah. I mean, we're doing it right now. That was it. I saw it once in theaters. I can't believe I paid to see this. Well, no, this was in my movie pass era, so I didn't really pay to see it. Yeah. Fuck this movie. Uh, Three out of 10? Two out of 10. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> I wasn't ever bored. It was just everything about it was bad. And I was like, wow, this is, it's still going. I was bored. I was just like, I was kind of out of it. I was like, you know what? I want to stop. <laughs> all right oh and then at the end uh sterling k brown dies in the middle of thomas jane's noble sacrifice and then the predator gun i guess he had on his shoulder killed him but the edit was so fast and it was so dark that you really couldn't see what happened it was so stupid and then also the predators need to be smarter i, I don't know I, I don't know why they needed <laughs> the brain of a 10 year old yeah this this hurt my head this is dumb well we're moving on to the next one what's your number, number four? four my number four is predators oh wow nope <laughs> what's your number four my number four is predator two. Ooh, i was gonna say that <laughs> is that your number three that is my number three. all right let's talk about predator two let's go <laughs> predator two the craziest predator movie in existence low-key yeah um hold on let me let me tell you the line <laughs> yeah what's the line okay pussy face your move okay pussy face it's your move shit happens what kind of line is that <laughs> what is that yes you're right someone did write that and they said what the hell and and danny glover said it to a predator <laughs> <laughs> i i completely lost composure when that happened but anyway uh the budget for predator 2 was 35 million dollars it made mm -hmm. 8.7 on its opening weekend it made 30.6 domestically and it made 57.1 worldwide so it was a bomb we've got a big stinker here uh-oh that's why the franchise was on ice for 10 years after this 10 years oh yeah was it 10 years no it was 14 no because of uh alien versus ADP. yeah alien versus predator came out in 2004 what was this 1990 oh wow okay 14 years yeah predator 2 takes place in 1997 but the movie came out in 1990 because they thought that in seven years somehow the military industrial complex would just crumble and the cops would somehow be underfunded and jamaicans would turn into blood gangs uh doing ritual <laughs> sacrifices i guess and um you know the jamaicans really just took over la they really did <laughs> So go ahead. Tell me about this copaganda. Fuck. Jesus. You killed a pig. I low-key think from watching the first Predator before this, I think this was like kind of a step backwards in... Kind of. <laughs> the idea is there, putting a Predator in the urban setting and everything. I don't know. It was kind of over the top. Is that something to say about a Predator film? I mean, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's a lot. I mean, the first film is ridiculous and we'll get to that, but at a certain point, Predator becomes grounded, but Predator 2 never becomes grounded. It is always ridiculous. Mm -hmm. It's always doing something really dumb. I think one of the highlights for me was what the predator was running through people's apartments i was like that's crazy it's all right i'm a cop i don't think he gives a shit i think the effects in this one improved a lot though and i think a lot of what we were seeing was really cool okay but yeah it's <laughs> like <laughs> you said okay I I there, I got nothing from this movie. I <laughs> really I have this rated the same as I do the Predator, but I just think that Predator Two, you know, it has that line, the <laughs> pussy face line. That's that's what it has over the Predator for me. I don't care about anything here. There's gonna be people probably in the comments if anybody watches this who feels very strongly about the Predator because they sure did uh, when we made that AVP video. So I'm <laughs> I'm anticipating uh, people getting upset. These are genre movies, but these genre movies are usually about the real world, and these films again are pro-imperialist pro-cop pro-military propaganda it's literally like you know the top gun of genre films and there's so much bullshit politically in this movie that just turns me off there's this fantasy of america becoming a war zone i mean it kind of is already but like 
there's gunfire everywhere. There's gangs shooting each other in the middle of the street and prolonged gunfights. It's, mm-hmm. you know, a world where the cops are underfunded and undersupported, which uh, would never happen in America. That just, that's a ridiculous thing to even say that the cops are the underdogs. It's really fucking dumb. It's anti-public transportation. I hate the subway at rush hour. You know, it's hard enough to find a seat, and if you find one, someone's either pissed in it or throwing up all over it. And it's like, it's so anti-working class. It's so Mm anti-poor. Like, I feel like someone who has never been to a city, especially one with good public transportation, wrote this movie. It's (laughs) really annoying, but it is so much of the time. I mean, this is like in the middle of the Reagan era, and people will look back at that time and be like, it wasn't political at all, but this is literally right-wing bullshit. That's what this is. So, Mm -hmm. Predator 2, on that level does not jive with me who you really chasing keys time to go to work this is a boring nothing movie to me i don't give a shit there's some funny lines there's some ridiculous things in it so many of the performances don't work for me i'm not a fan that's all i was gonna say with the xenomorph head though imagine having to wait over a decade to see that play out in 2014 the rock said that the dc you know hierarchy was about to change (laughs) yeah right (laughs) and we've been waiting eight years so i can imagine i put at the end of my notes literally this movie is pretty forgettable besides the xenomorph head at the end (laughs) yeah that's it that's it that sums up pretty much the whole movie that's all this movie has to offer all right (laughs) So, uh, I'm giving Predator 2 a 3 out of 10. I'm giving it a 4 out of 10. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So, what? Oh, wait. You said your number 3 was Predator 2. My number 4 was Predators with the S. Well, uh... Is that your number 3? No, it's not. Oh, wow. (laughs) Ooh. My number 3 is... Predator 1? It's Predator, yeah. (laughs) That's crazy. Wow, what a take. Yeah, this movie's bullshit. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry. Really? Yeah. Again, this is just going to be controversial. <laughs> this is just another one. <laughs> this is just another one. I, I think this movie is much better than Predator 2, even though, spoiler alert, uh, this is a 4 out of 10 for me. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, the budget was $15 million. The gross mm-hmm. opening weekend was $12 million. It made $59.7 million domestically, and it made $98.2 million globally. That's a certified hit. Yeah, that is a hit. It made many times its budget. So, yeah. This movie was made for, like, nothing. Wow. Yep. And you can't tell. um, You can't, really. You can't tell unless the Predator is invisible, and then you can tell. Yeah. What year was this? You said 87? Yep, 87. It looked fine, I guess. I think this movie is super silly, and it's like a B-movie mixed with crazy action slasher, and I feel like I'm all here for it. I think it's, like, just incredible, all the puns. Bunch of slack-jawed faggots around here. This stuff will make you a goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus. Just like me. The kills. Arnold Schwarzeneggerisms. It's kind of fun. Get to the chopper! I had a really fun the time. The references to Stranger Things. Oh, yeah. Jim Hopper. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Duffer Brothers. You did it. It's definitely made for young boys, just like everything else in this franchise, I think, low-key. Everything else early on in this franchise. Pray is for the girls. For boys. Pray is for the girls. <laughs> And, you know, that's Hashtag bad. girl boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> oh, we're definitely going to talk about Prey because yeah, we'll talk people about are it. saying things online. Yeah, but people anyway. are saying things online. I found a letterbox <laughs> review that was... Uh, Ooh, are you going to read it? Uh, I'm not going to read it. I mean, I might. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll read it. I'll find it. Go ahead. <laughs> but that, that handshake in the beginning... That meme, I love it. I freaking love it so much. Honestly, that's the peak of this movie. That's where this movie <laughs> peaked, and then that was it. Like, the end, I think it kind of works uh, because it becomes grounded, and I think all the things that had happened up until that point lead you to believe that he's probably going to die, mm-hmm. except for when he gets shot by the Predator thing, and somehow he, you know, he doesn't have a crater in his body like the other guy did, which you know doesn't make any sense. But yeah, that shot, that's like the thing I like the most about it. I mean, because it's the meme, and the shot is ridiculous, and it's masculine Mm low-key gay and also that shot ended (laughs) racism as well but yeah that's that's basically it how did you feel about that one lady that's in this movie the one girl in the whole cast well that leads me to going on with my broader criticism of this movie and also the other movies that i've already said Mm -hmm. people will be like, back in the day, movies used to not be political. And then they'll be like, and also Predator, one of the best movies ever made. Even though this movie (laughs) is literally a group of black ops soldiers along with a CIA operative (laughs) going into South America 
stuff. And then there's a whole scene of them just mowing down this militia of probably rebels who were trying to assumedly fight the American-backed neoliberal dictatorship in that country. And it was really just blatantly political. Stick around. Also, the aesthetics, it's like Call of Duty and how cartoony yet bloody it is. Because there's mm-hmm. there's moments where we're showing, you know, these guys shoot bullet after bullet. And, you know, it's from a low angle and it's in a wide lens. And the bullets are tearing through the terrain and destroying everything and destroying every body. And, you know, these ridiculous, I want to call them like Fortnite plays that Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> does. And it's a ridiculous movie. Yeah, it's super silly. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what else I can possibly say about it, but I, I just don't connect with it. Oh, the girl. I remember. I, I remembered something about the girl because you brought her up. One of the things that really bothered me was the fact that she was like helping them all of a sudden. It didn't make sense because she wanted to get away from them and she tried to like get them killed a bunch of times. And mm-hmm. she even saw the predator before they did. And so she knew what was out there and that it wasn't one of her people at all. And yeah. she still tried to get them killed. And then at one point, Arnold said, says Anna, this thing is hunting us all of us but then like 10 minutes later i want to say 10 15 minutes later he tells the girl not to pick up a gun because he won't kill you if you're not armed leave it he didn't kill you because you weren't armed no sport so it just it was all over the place to me yeah it's a little inconsistent wow well obviously like he was trying to manipulate her but it doesn't make any sense and she should have saw through that because she saw the predator like he was talking to her as if she didn't see it first Mm -hmm. which was weird when i was little we found a man he looked like like butcher we found them sometimes without their skin and sometimes much much worse because the trofeos de los hombres means the demon who makes trophies of man the last like 10 minutes or so is fun with Arnold fighting the predator I guess there's a bunch of cool stuff in it like the cast Stan Winston did some of the effects Alan Silvestri who did the Avenger score does the score for this and the score in this movie is not that good there's like the main theme is cool but everything else is like it's so goofy <laughs> it's super silly yeah. yeah it's silly it ruins the tone <laughs> that shot where um one of them throws the dog tags to the other guy with the bowie knife and he catches it that was cool but yeah I don't really care for this movie I'm sorry everyone you're gonna get people in the comments yelling at you wow yeah well I'm sorry I'm not a hog anyway uh uh, Predator is a 4 out of 10 for me. If you have anything else to say, I am all ears. Um, I'll always love how silly this is, even though it's crazy. The handshake is great. I will always like this movie. I'm giving it a 5 out of 10. Okay, so we're moving on to... Uh, wait, but we just talked about Predator, and that was my number 3. Oh, well, that's my number 2. Oh, okay. So, all right, so Predator was your <laughs> number 2. All right, cool. Yeah. Well, that's your whole list then. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but what's your number two? My number two is Predators. Okay, good. Yeah. So that means <laughs> both of our number one is Prey. Tight. That's right. Let's go. Good. Gabagool. Because... Yeah. Should we just talk about Prey or should we talk about Predators? No, let's talk bit? about Predators because uh, Predators was your okay. number four for some reason. and It's my number two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about Predators. Yeah. Originally, I had Predators at a 3 out of 10. That was years ago. Rewatching it, I moved up because I think it's like a really super interesting idea. And I feel like it's as realized as much as they could have realized it with. Something like this was needed to like push the franchise a little bit into new territory and all of the performances especially like Topher Grace they always crack me up for some reason and then the Lawrence Fishburne reveal was (laughs) it's so crazy and to this day it's like still one of the craziest reveals yeah I've ever seen in a movie I was like what the hell that was a cameo um but before we begin I would like to hit you with uh, the box office the budget and uh the line Mm-hmm. So the budget was forty million dollars. It made twenty four point seven million opening weekend, domestically fifty two, and uh, worldwide one hundred and twenty seven point two million. So it made its money back. So the line that stuck out to me the most in this movie was. You know, man, if we ever make it home, I'm going to do so much fucking cocaine. I'm going to rape so many fine bitches. I'll be like, what time is it after five? Damn, time to go rape me some fine bitches. You know what I'm saying? And then Topher Grace goes, oh, yeah, totally. Like, 
five o'clock. It's it's bitch raping time. And then Walton Goggins goes, mmm, yeah. You should stay away from him. Yeah. So yeah, that was that's a line. Someone wrote that. <laughs> Someone wrote that in a movie, and I thought that was insane. Um, I mean, he's a pretty. <laughs> that is actually super insane. That's the most unhinged thing anyone has ever written in a movie. I think when I saw this many years ago, I think that is m- probably what like made me hate this, Loki. Good. <laughs> <laughs> that means I'm a human being. There was a, probably a lot of people that were turned off by that line, which, I mean, that's the point. The only acceptable reactions to that line are like, wow, that's fucking awful. Why would anyone write that? Why would anyone say that? You know, etc. And then the other acceptable reaction to me is that is such a ridiculous thing to say. It's almost kind of funny, but not because of the idea of what he's saying. It's funny. It's the fact that he said it. And why would anyone ever say that? Why? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I think this movie is not bad. I actually think it's kind of good. Up until a certain point, there's parts where this movie gets really stupid. But the beginning of this movie is so good. It's yeah, so the beginning good. Is fire. The first minute, all killer, no filler. You just start with him falling. There's no before. Mm-hmm. You're just falling. And then the credits, you know, the opening title thing happens like predators. The the dialogue in the beginning is like surprisingly well restrained with all the introductions of all the characters because everyone's sort of in the same boat. So you'd expect in real life, I would be explaining the thing over and over again until I get tired of it. Mm-hmm. But they only do it like once and everyone just sort of figures it out either like in between scenes or like they start with a question that's like, what happened? here and then they'll cut to the next scene because you already heard the information overall just really great setup like the whole thing is like asking questions that Mm -hmm. you're sort of anticipating what the answer is going to be i mean obviously one of the answers is there's a predator but you don't know where they are you don't know anything unless you saw the trailer i guess but yeah it's it's really cool it's a really inventive way to like revitalize a series i wish more movies would in their reboots be this brave yeah i feel like only predators could get away with it to be honest it's super different from the originals and it's something we needed high key i think it makes sense because the whole thing about the predators is that they're hunting they're hunting for sport brother like why wouldn't you just have a whole planet just for that you're still pissed fuck you robert rodriguez produced this movie he did not direct it um it was shout out shout out spy kids first of all Okay. Um, (laughs) Robert Rodriguez, he produced it, and he was also the special effects supervisor. It was directed by Nimrod Antal, who did episodes five and six of Stranger Things 4. Greg Nicotero did the special effects makeup and creature effects. This cast is stacked. So many actors. Oh my gosh. They use anamorphic lenses in this movie. It's pretty fucking clear i mean everything is so stretched out but it's actually like kind of beautiful and i feel like they filled the screen to the best of their abilities without using full screen i think it's the best shot movie in the whole series i don't know if we have any other nice things to say about this movie but um there's a lot of dumb shit in this movie as well <laughs> Yeah. I mean, there is. I mean, we could start with just the first monster fight when they meet those... um, Those piggy things? Those dog... Whatever? I don't know. But it's it's really dumb. I mean, these guys are, like, limited in their ammo capacity, obviously. They're just wasting bullets, just shooting everything and not being precise. Like, all these people are trained soldiers, and they're just wasting their ammo. Like, they're not going to have to fight their way out of this planet. It's really (laughs) dumb. And it gave me the impression that these animals, I guess were bullet resistant but then one of them got like their head cut off like they were paper the cgi was rough it was really stupid i didn't like that scene that was really dumb i don't know if you have any other thoughts about that part no it was stupid i understand also Lawrence fishburne's death was really stupid he just took the l for no reason he didn't even use his camo or anything (laughs) it just doesn't make any sense that he was playing it so safe and then all of a sudden was like fuck it i'm gonna die now they learned that the mud helps them camouflage from the predator he could see in the infrared, heat signatures. He used mud to block his. But then they don't do it ever. <laughs> like Adrian Brody has to do it at the end. I guess he's the only person who puts on the mud. But when he puts it on, there's barely any mud on his body. And you can mm-hmm. clearly see his skin. So like, did it even really work? I don't know, man. Kind of dumb. Kind of stupid. I promise you it will be quick. No. It won't. Topher Grace all of a sudden was like, I like it here, even though he was crying the whole time. Shoot already! I like it here. I want to stay. Fuck! Oh! 
all of you. I don't know. I'm not even trying to overthink it. It was just really stupid. The Yakuza guy making a noble sacrifice for no reason was stupid. That's what the Yakuza do, so. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> the music never really met the moment for me. Oh, yeah, the score wasn't really good. It was kind of just the Predator theme. And there were like moments during the action scenes where they cut away a lot. Like it was a PG-13 movie, even though it was rated R. And then if you watch this movie on Hulu, uh, you find out that Hulu is even worse than Netflix with their credits. And like, hey, watch the next thing in three seconds. And you have no time to watch the credits. So those are all my thoughts. And what are you giving Predators? Six out of ten. Six out of ten. Wow. The first half of this movie is really good. I'm giving Predators a four out of ten. Cool. Um. All right. So it's, I guess it's time to talk about the best Predator. The best film. Predator Yay. film. Is there going to be a budget? Because it's a Hulu original movie now. So well, there should be a budget. Okay. There's no available budget for Prey. All right. Its opening weekend was zero dollars. Its total domestic gross was zero dollars, and its worldwide gross was zero dollars. Uh, because Disney sucks. Okay. Is it a coincidence that the first film in the predator franchise under disney is the best one (laughs) i don't think so because disney always makes bangers all the time yep all the time and if you watch our channel you know we love disney (laughs) we really do saving the movie industry one monopoly at a time tell me about prey um well like we said this is easily the best predator film i was not expecting much from this movie but i was like low-key blown away it was kind of a great time i really liked how relatable the main protagonist was i forgot her name but she wanted to prove herself and she wanted to be better than what they thought she should be and i was like oh that's cool i like that People say that she's a Mary Sue. What do you think about that? That's the dumbest shit ever. Brother, she gets <laughs> help from so many people to kill this thing. You know, her brother and all of her brother's friends, they all get a shot at this guy. Predator bleeds a lot. Uh, he goes one-on-one with a fucking bear and almost loses. Yeah. <laughs> the Predator in this movie is always taking L's, but it's cool. I think there's some like mild inconsistencies with how primitive but also advanced it is but you know that's it's fine but overall mm-hmm. this movie is uh, kind of good i don't think this franchise overall is is like a top tier franchise yeah it's not a top tier franchise <laughs> like the mcu yeah sure <laughs> i disagree with its premise politically obviously like i've said many times but this movie's anti-colonialism was real cool i enjoyed that this movie does what predators does but i think better in the reinvention of what the movie's are Mm -hmm. because it really paints the predator as more of a bad guy uh because in (laughs) gonna be honest here i was rooting for the predator in the other movies (laughs) <laughs> because <laughs> all the people that he's fighting suck in prey they're just native americans trying to like live their life survive <laughs> yeah they're dealing with the french being french and the predator is also the same kind of enemy but it's a more f- lethal fucking alien yeah the action sequences were cool yeah the action sequences were pretty cool there was some sleek action in it my only gripe with it was the fight with all the guys at the camp you didn't like that it was like nicely choreographed but at moments it felt like too choreographed when the guy like has her by the arms from behind and then she kicks the guy in front of him but like that kick i mean let's be real here i don't know i don't know if that that kick's gonna keep that guy down but Mm -hmm. it felt like she did a lot of her own stunts uh even if she didn't it felt like it so that's cool i like the axe with the rope yeah that was awesome the rope on the tomahawk (laughs) that was tight her practicing with it and everything it was great a lot of the cgi stuff was real bad though the CGI bear. Some of the rabbits sometimes. The rabbits, the ship and the clouds. The ship, oh yeah, oh gosh. Yeah, some real bad <laughs> visual effects. But the ca- the closer the camera got to whatever the CGI thing was, it looked bad. But like when she's like running away from the bear and it's super far away, I was like, oh, it looks pretty good. But then it gets close and I'm like, oh, yuck. Why don't they just use a real bear? And why didn't the bear just fight an invisible guy in a suit? Filmmakers don't really try anymore. <laughs> the mystery of the predator throughout the first act i thought that was really good and it kept me on my toes and then that one shot of them running in like the tall grass with the predator racing behind them going so fast i was like there's no way you were surviving that that is so scary yeah dude that was terrifying (laughs) there was actually a thing that i liked and then a thing that i disliked with the visuals i like that they visually showed the predator hierarchy you know there was like a couple of scenes where they did that like that scene with the bug and then the rodent and then the snake and then the predator takes the snake and rips it in half Mm -hmm. and then the main thing that i hated visually besides the you know the visual effects obviously was the nighttime lighting it really got on my nerves the way they did it because was it too dark it wasn't too dark it was too bright like there was a shot 
in the movie uh, when she's walking around with the torch and it's like super dark around her and the torch is like lighting the scene. I was like, oh, this is cool. It's like real nighttime because at night you can't see shit um, because it's fucking dark and there's Mm -hmm. no lights uh, except for, you know, the lights that are hitting the moon. But, you know, the moon's not going to like illuminate everything. That's not how that works. And then when she's told to take out the torch and so they can like walk around in the darkness, the lighting for the darkness was brighter than it was when the torch was on and you could see everything. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. It, it didn't make any sense to me. It was really weird. And it really threw me off. I didn't enjoy that. But overall, everything else is solid for me. And uh, Prey is a 6 out of 10. I'm at a 7 out of 10. Tight. Cool. Cool. Glad I could uh, disappoint everyone. Do you want me to read this letterbox review? Yes, I want to hear it. I want to hear this it. This is from Sun God. This person blocked me because I said, imagine being pro-imperialist. What a dweeb. And then he <laughs> blocked me. So the real bad stuff is the tags on the review. Okay. There are tags. Oh, oh yeah. Here we go. Anti white with YT, anti YT themes. White man bad. Quote, white people are the real villains, end quote. Faux feminism, female as male archetype, forced female lead. And here we go. Here we go. J S H J director. Do you know what the last two things mean? No, what is that? J S H is Jewish. And Jay oh. Director is Jewish Director. This guy is a white supremacist. <laughs> oh, God. Well, yeah, that's that. So then I went to go look at his other reviews. I found his Northman review, and apparently it was so bad that a moderator had to remove it from the <laughs> website, but it's still there. And here are the tags for this one, okay? Airy, as in Aryan, spelled A-R-Y, Airy. Awesome. Very airy, 100% airy, F-A-S, as in fa- fascism, fash, right-wing, right-wing themes, fascistic, blonde male hero, anti-Judeo. So yeah, I love going on Letterboxd and finding white supremacists. It's a new hobby of mine. <laughs> Ooh, that's crazy. Sorry, this is such a deviation from talking about predators. I just can't, I can't help myself. This is a political YouTube channel, so leave me alone. Is there anything else you want to say about these movies? Predator franchise, besides Prey, is super mid, kind of, and... More like super bad. There's some that are fine to watch, I guess. Nope. <laughs> I would never watch any of these ever again, except for Predators really? and Prey. That's it. <laughs> I don't, I don't care. Yeah, two out of five ain't bad. Well, yeah, it is, but... Two out of five ain't bad, brother. That's a 40% <laughs> success rate. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a four out of ten. I don't know what I'm talking about. Our number five was The Predator. My number four was Predators. My number four is Predator 2. My number three is Predator 2. My number three is Predator. My number two is Predator. My number two is Predators. And our number one is Prey. Prey. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. It's a very did it. it's a very quick list, very underwhelming list, very underwhelming movies. <laughs> uh if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you agree or disagree, tell us in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your friends. Do all the things. Matrix video, blah blah blah. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. You have to get past the Avengers and Marvel shit at some point, okay? Other f-ing people make movies.